I might need that. Low and quiet does it.
These are helpful. Bitter, though. Who are you calling out for? Do you need help? I have nothing against outcasts. Far from it. But I shouldn't talk to you. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't see anyone else around to help. I guess you're right. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be callous. My brother was cast out, but his sentence has ended. He, he should have come home, but he didn't. And, and his camp was covered in blood. You, um... You said your brother's camp was soaked with blood? The Braves went looking for him, and, and that's what they found. All I can think about is what might have happened. Is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Does he need help? I can't stand it not knowing. What are you doing out here all alone? Each day, I cut a notch on the wall, so I knew Brahm's sentence was over. Then I cut three more, but he still hadn't come back. I begged the matriarchs to send braves to find him, and all they found was a blood-soaked camp. The braves said he must be dead, but I have to know the truth. So I came out looking for him. Why was your brother cast out? Brahm was always a little different. A little touched. One of the hunters had a cruel heart and never let him alone. I was gone but an hour, and the hunter said after him like always, but this time, Brahm struck back with a rock and split the man's skull. Spirits made him do it, he said. Whispers of the forgotten. It cost him ten years. I never should have left him alone. What do you mean, forgotten? All mother curses blasphemers who won't repent, banishing them from her eternal memory. Those lost spirits are the forgotten. Brahm used to say they spoke to him, told him to do things. It was such a burden for him, and, and there was nothing I could do to help. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. If that is how it must be, just find him then. Please.
can tell this came from the same off. This must be Bob's camp. Better clear out those watchers. but no body. There's gotta be more to this. Looks 
Looks like a few drops of blood lead away from the camp. Someone attack Brom with it? Looks like more blood leading away from here. Someone bring the blood to the camp? The trail of blood ends here. But whoever left it must have also left tracks.
wonder if the blood from the camp came from this boar. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? Scrapper's picking at. Stop tensing up. Looks like it was a watcher. Whoever I'm following made short work of it. If it's Brom, he definitely knows how to handle a spear. Good. I can use this.
someone loaded these supplies. Brom was an outcast for a long time. Why take food and gear now? The supplies from the cache. Why would they take them and just throw them away? You promise. <laughs> She's my sister. My sister. I need to protect her. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Brom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? I'm not shouting. I know you're a good listener. So come listen to me, just as you would the others. They... they say not to listen. <laughs> but... Alara always said, never ignore a speaker. I can see. <laughs> All right. I'll hear you out. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? The spirits of the forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things, hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I, I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Oh, is with me. They take care of me, keep me company, help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom. You're alive. Oh, mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No, 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 no. Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Brom. He fears these spirits that he hears will turn him against you. Unless your voice can quiet them? Yes. Just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once, and it was provoked. I... I don't want to hurt you. But the Forgotten, their... their whispers, they... they fill my head with screams. Brahm isn't ready to return to the Nora. But I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay. A cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brom. I'll help you. 
Thank you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in all Mother's eternal memory, and may the Forgotten leave you be.
So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? What should I expect once I'm inside? No 
be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it. As I was, back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. Remind me of you, of everything you did, and how you helped prepare me for this day. Thank you. Heavier than it looks, but the cord is strong. May all mother bless you, Aloy. And you. Day of all days. I have to keep my mind on the proving. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the Proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the Goddess protect. What is going on?
It's you, isn't it? It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. I like it, but... Drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? It's for the goddess. Oh, to judge the goddess. not supposed Listen to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, I won't let the cards of faithful stop me from joining festival. 
people, machines, and beasts, if their nose all tears were her children. Away. They the lived alongside each other in the comfort of their wild embrace. But some of them... Aloy, over here! Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right, let's do this. happy to take your shards. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and Slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance! Hold Luminance. your fruit, Nora. Oh. Nora Faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. Raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Evil it's for the gods to judge the Karja, not me. I'm known to be left. What's that mean? He's wearing a focus. Just like mine. The Karja faith will stop me from enjoying this festival. How can they do now? You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? 
And Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. You might even give them Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was in war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. It didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard, favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Oh, well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. 
I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. Who are the Osaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things, arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters, what are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, sorry, I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass, and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass, and they start attacking people on sight. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten... So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Thank you.